Welcome to JSA TV Live, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Barb Mitchell coming to you today live from PTC 2023 in Waikiki, Hawaii. Beautiful place to be. Uh, joining me today is Bill Clayman. Uh, I Mason's advisory board member and group leader for millennials and Gen Z. Right. Yeah, got yeah. that right. Yeah, <laughs> and also general friend to JSA, friend to the industry, friend all around. So we're happy to be chatting with you today. I am clearly so happy to be here. And hey, everybody watching, you're live with us here at PTC, but you're not here with us in Hawaii. It's really warm. <laughs> if you're anywhere really cold right now, we are doing our best to project. No. Yeah. project the sunshine at you i'm so sorry it's really nice outside <laughs> but we're inside but it's nice outside yeah yeah <laughs> um yeah so thank you and so let's talk about the event i saw you the other night at the i mason's event you had just come from i know that they did a special event for for veterans and then we were able everyone sort of friends of i mason's were invited to join saw you there what, what tell us what what happened so i've been here since friday and yeah. <laughs> remarkably it's been kind of non-stop already uh we had a really wonderful infrastructure masons armed forces event where it was it was full i believe we were represented by almost every single branch of the military and wow. some international folks as well and uh the message was really special barb and everybody listening if there's vets out there as well you know I, we're gonna cover a lot of topics here but you know yeah. use us as a resource infrastructure masons my name is bill claim you can find me on linkedin we talked about transitioning soldiers into our industry and just how much, Barb, how much their skill set directly impacts what we do in our in our space. I mean, these right. people can perform under pressure. They can do extraordinary tasks. They can yeah. uh, they can literally impact digital infrastructure. And what our job, our goal was to help transitioning soldiers, our active duty personnel, and military spouses. Yeah. Uh, see how and what they can do in our industry. And we had like an hour presentation. We talked about the jobs that they could do. And then honestly, the best part was the networking. We had a chance for like two or three hours. We had a whole bunch of leaders coming into our environment, our, in a little, little gathering. And we, we spoke to these soldiers. Some of them were out in a few months. One yeah. of them came up to me and is like, I'm out in three years. How do I get started? What certifications do I get? Brilliant. And I mean, those conversations are so meaningful. You can have them online, but when you start to do them interpersonally, and again, if you know a soldier, if you know a friend, if you know a military spouse, uh, this industry needs you because uh, we're, we're growing, as you know. Yeah, so brilliant, actually. I, I love the work that you know, you're know you doing in cooperation with, with iMasons, with Infrastructure Masons. It just touches so many um, parts of our industry, for the industry, from the industry, and for the world, actually, in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. um, speaking of for the world, uh, that's my segue. Um, thank you for the pin. Yeah, and I was in a selfie with you the other day. Tell me about your selfies. Um, wow. All right. So, so uh, I, I've, I've. Um, it's funny. I don't know how to start these conversations because they're always yeah. a little bit weird, right? So, uh, I was introduced as Bill Clayman. Uh, remarkably, that wasn't really my name uh, when I was born. It's Vitali, uh, Vitali Yurovich. Nice to meet you. Um, and we came to the United States in the early '90s. I was born in Kiev, Ukraine, and so. We have, we have friends, we have family uh, still there, and we have very, very dear friends who are on the front lines and, and fighting and uh, you know risking lives to have a free, independent, and democratic uh, Ukraine. And so I like to take pictures, I like to take selfies, and it is, it's cheesy. I know it's cheesy, but uh, in this sense, we're doing something special, something selfless, selfies for Ukraine. So for every single selfie that I had a chance to take here and a couple other people contributing as well, we're doing $20 uh, to the Ukrainian Armed Forces, and this this thing has taken off. This hashtag selfies for Ukraine. We have enough to actually now not just support uh, some of our armed forces friends. We're actually gonna have enough to buy one of our uh, medic friends a, uh, a medic medevac van because oh, wow. this was damaged. And so now we can actually not an ambulance. It's literally just a get soldiers off the front line. So uh, if you if you find me here at P PTC or anywhere else, I'm giving out these really cool Ukraine pins. All you got to do is smile. That that's all you have to do. <laughs> Yeah. I think we're at like 80 or 85 selfies. It is a personal wow. best. My phone is like, Bill, <laughs> Bill, you need to chill out, man. Right. Um, but it is very special and it means a lot. And it's just getting the message out in, and it's very easy to participate. And thanks for bringing it up, Barb. I really appreciate yeah. it. Well, and what about the people we already sadly mentioned that not everyone could be with us here today. So what if someone wants to do a selfie and they're not in Hawaii, then what? 
You know what? Since this is live, and I know since I'm going to bounce off of this thing and my phone's going to light up, if you <laughs> use the hashtag uh, selfies for Ukraine, yeah. I am monitoring it. If you get out there and you just take a picture and you put that hashtag out there, it will count towards uh, towards the total. You don't Perfect. have to be here with us. Um, there's no cap. Take some selfies, tag yourself, send it to me, and um, you're doing something really, really special for my home country, and just and just thank you. Yeah. It's such a great initiative. Again, you have so many, so many. What's next? What's next for this oh. year? For I don't know. Can there be more? Can there be more? I think there's always more. Uh, so uh, I just had the chance to uh, to leap switch uh, my, my, my former company uh, on January 1st. Uh, it was a great departure. And, you know, the company was was acquired. And now they're, they're off in a new direction. It gave me the opportunity to take a deep breath, yeah. which I have not done a good job of. I'm right. <laughs> totally not taking any time off. Um, I'll tell everybody something special I'm working on. It's a Ukrainian company that does machine learning, MLOps, and they're the only organization that does data modeling and training 100% sustainably on uh, sustainable infrastructure, but also environmental reporting um, that can uh, that that's uh, that abides by EU and uh, United States standards, yeah. and. They're a Ukrainian company. And so what we're doing right now is we're helping bring that business here because a lot of the revenue was with, with Russia. So it's a big, big part of the project that I'm working on, helping bring jobs back, supporting wonderful people throughout the country. Um, that's a part-time thing. I'm really excited about that. As far as everything else, we're going to be working with iMasons, going to be yeah. working still in this infrastructure industry. Uh, and we're going to be doing some really fun events at Data Center World, for example. Look for some fun reports. You can tell... This isn't even the coffee talking. Like there's just so much happening. <laughs> well, yeah. Hang on, I'm gonna right. do a shameless plug. Hang on. And then we've also got this really great book here, Greener Data, which yes. is an Amazon bestseller. I think my chapter is chapter 12, if I'm not mistaken. I think you might be right. And I talk about Ukraine uh, and my upbringing there a little bit and how I got into technology right. uh, and how that actually, the nexus of it started in an apartment in Kiev yeah. with a telegraph machine. You have to read the book for more, though. I'm not. I'm not going to give it away. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for. Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up. For anyone who hasn't already read Greener Data, uh, don't forget to get a copy. Yeah, it's actually good read. It's a good read, and uh, thank you for being part of that. It's been amazing. And so, you know, we look forward to hearing more as the as the year unfolds and see how these projects are, you know, developing for you and and all the great updates. I'm sure we'll we'll touch base again at uh, PTC 2024, probably many times before then. Um, but thank you. Thank you so much for joining us today. We've uh, enjoyed it, it, It's my pleasure, Barb. Thank you for having me here. This industry is not slowing down. For everybody watching, I think if I was going to give one theme away yeah. from this PTC conference is just unrelenting growth. Look at how yeah. connected we are. And coming out of, obviously, 2020, our digital environment, digital infrastructure it's just mind blowing and it's not going to slow down. And that's been the theme of this entire conference is how do I keep up with digital demand? And it's just extraordinary to hear these conversations. Yeah. So true. So great. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for your energy and for my pin again. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. Yeah. And thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV here coming to you live from PTC 2023. Mahalo.